everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna go through how I made my sculpture Nadia the uh, celestial fox and this is a fox that I made a while ago so if you haven't seen the whole collection head to my channel and have a look at the video on there but anyway to start off with I'm making a um, armature or a wire frame out of some um, uh, aluminium uh, wire it's specifically for armatures and then I am wrapping the wire with some just aluminium foil or tin foil, whatever you people call it. Um, we call it aluminium foil. Um, and that way I can um, bulk up the, the actual um, core of the statue and I uh, won't be using um, a whole lot of material. You, you use less material and it is a lot lighter as well. So for this sculpture I'm using Sculpey um, and Fimo. So the base that I'm sculpting it out of is Sculpey Original. Um, there's three different Sculpeys. You can get Sculpey Original, Sculpey Super Sculpey, and Sculpey Firm. So the Sculpey Original is the white coloured one and it is um, a little bit easier to work with, which I like to work with softer clays. Um, but I have a video on my channel about that, so you can head there if you want to know any more info. So what I'm doing now is I'm covering the aluminium foil with the, a thin layer of, um, of that Sculpey. So I've um, worked a whole lot of Sculpey so I can just cover the layer pretty quickly. Um, so it's always kind of a labor intensive process when um, you're trying to get all of the clay onto a sculpture. But, um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just covering my aloe foil with the Sculpey. So once I've done that, this is something that I have now. I've also got some tiny little glass eyes um, for this sculpture that I've hand painted. Uh, I'm not gonna, <sighs> include the whole process because it took a long time to sculpt it so uh, it's really only sort of snippets of the progress um, throughout the whole sculpture uh, but if that's something that you're interested in let me know in the comments um, if you're interested in like the full sculpting thing it's a little hard to film because I end up getting in the zone and then moving around a lot um, but anyway, so at this point I have baked this so I wouldn't lose any uh, positions or details or anything that I liked. Uh, I roughed out the snout area as well and I roughed out where the eyes are going to go. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and bake this and then come back and add some more details like around the eye area. So sculpting with my little wormy and I apologize because I kind of went out of frame as what I was saying before. I get into the zone and then end up all over the place. But um, so I rolled out these little wormies and then attached them for the brow area. But I have some more sculpting videos on my channel that you can check out if you're not, if you don't know what I'm talking about. So I did a little bit of work on the head of this uh, uh, fox. So this is what we have. Um, I kind of went for an in-between of a cartoony and a realistic fox. Um, so it's, as it's a celestial fox, I wanted it to have a bit more of a, um, a celestial type elegant pose. So I went for the fox legs going up. Um, and in the meantime, I baked it as well so I could move on to the next step. I added some detail on the chest area which I ended up not liking and I did it all again. Um, so I'm going to be working on the feet so I've done one foot and I can, um, if it will focus, show you how I sculpted the other type of the foot. So I have this little loop tool I got here in Melbourne from a shop called Barnes but you can make your own and it's really, really easy to make. Um, so I use this to sort of map out where I want all of the little toes to go um, and then I go ahead and just sort of carve out little sections and sculpt out little details that I want in the um, in the sculpture or where I want clay to be removed from and I just did a little bit of work on um, this feet, this, the, the foot to get uh, how I wanted it to get. 
And this is what we have uh, after I've done the all of the feet. So the whole armature is now covered in that sculpey. Uh, and then again, I baked it and came back and added some more sculpey details to the legs in terms of the fur that's coming from the back end of the legs. And I also didn't like this, so I did it again. Um, but you get the idea of what I actually did. Um, to achieve this type of fur. I just it did it. It didn't feel right to me the way That it looked I just wasn't what I wanted um, And I I initially was going to paint the whole thing and I was initially going to use Sculpey original for the whole thing um, and then paint it and then I changed my mind to uh, Use Fimo for the colored and just sort of enhance it with the paint. Um, I don't know why I just that's what I felt like I should do so I did it um, anyway, so I added the details um, along the fur with some uh, wormy things again. I just sculpted some of that detail in with this little needle tool. And you can get this tool in like a pottery set that you can get from your local craft store. It's pretty cheap and you can also get it online like eBay or something like that. Um, you get a whole pottery tool set really, really cheap. So um, you don't need expensive tools to sculpt things. Right, so at this point I'm starting to cover the actual sculpture with the Fimo and I found Fimo is really hard to use. It, it It's good for sculpting but I find it very very time consuming to um, knead the clay um, before you use it. So it's really tough on the fingers. I'd still continue to use it, I just it's just very time consuming to use but it's very good clay. Um, I I'm probably going to try some Sculpey 3 as well. Um, they're the small little packets that you can get and see how that goes. So I sculpted a whole lot of details on the tail and I didn't like the way that looked either so I ended up sculpting it again. Um, and then I found what I wanted to do which was a mixture of smooth and rough and textured surfaces. So I covered the entire back end uh, with the black clay. That's um, the fox has, if you've seen the front thumbnail, you know the colours, white, blue and then black at the tail end. Um, so I'm go I, I went ahead and covered the entire back end in the black clay, took a long time, added some details with some worms and stuff, um, and then moved on to the blue, um, the blue Sculpey or Fimo, I can't remember which one I used. Um, but this blue, you've got to be really, really careful with it because the color transfers quite a lot. So it's just something to keep in mind when you're using colors like that, especially like such a bright colored clay, it sort of gets everywhere. So just to keep in mind, keep your hands clean and try not to touch too many light colored things because you'll get the blue all over it. Um, you can always paint over it, um, but just something to keep in mind when you're uh, using these particular colors. I'm going to take a little bit of a break for some helping cats, of course. enough cat bums in the face. Uh, so what I've done now is I've rolled out a whole lot of little worms um, which will be the fur detail on uh, the white part of the, the fox. So I rolled out a whole lot of little worms, millions of them, and attached them and just added some detail like you saw in uh, when I had the, the Sculpey original. Um, very much the same concept, just added a little bit of different details to the whole of the white area, leaving sort of the middle bits a little bit more smooth and um, the chest area a little bit more fluffy um, because I wanted it to be a bit thicker and a bit more um, fluffy. Uh, 
I also added a little bit of black behind the ears and those little eye marks that I usually do on my dolls. I also added some uh, details on the back of the neck. I like to have these longer bits in the back of my neck on my characters. It's kind of like a life force, if that makes sense. Um, which, I don't know, I like the way it looks. Um, so once I've applied all of the, the clay, I have baked its sculpture um, to as a final bake, so uh, everything's baked and done. And then once it's cooled down, I move on to painting um, all the little details that need to be painted in. So I'm just going over with some white acrylic paint just to cover any areas that I might have missed or have a little bit of discoloration or something on it. Um, and then I can move on to some of the black paint, which would be the nose and just some extra little details and stuff as well. So this fox sculpture is available in my shop uh, at creaturesofnat.com. If you need a payment plan, I'm more than happy to do something like that. Um, and just shoot me a message and we can discuss if you're interested in something like that. I'm pretty flexible and pretty laid back as well. So just let me know. You can also check out other bits of the collection in my shop as well or on my social medias. Uh, I have a whole range of different things if you like this character different price ranges for everyone uh, so nobody misses out uh, and that's pretty much it for me today guys I hope you liked the video um, if you could subscribe give it a thumbs up and leave a comment um, you can also check me out on Instagram and Facebook at creatures of net and I'll catch you in the next one bye